fell down the stairs, ripped my cartilage and ligaments in my legs, and I got operated on. And uh, when I was in the hospital with my friends, I mean, they pillaged my apartment, took all my money, took all my, my tools, which would have valued about $10,000 back in the day. It was a lot less. But had no money, I was on food stamps, was going physical therapy, I was just messed up in pain. Yeah, I remember in 1986, I moved to Daytona. My wife is behind me, I gotcha. She doesn't like to be on TV. Anyways, yeah, I went to American Motorcycle Institute. Came up. Motorcycle mechanic, worked in different places. Worked for a place called Classic Cycles of Daytona. Worked on Emmerfields, uh, Norton's, older Harley Davises, and Suzuki's and stuff. I was really good at wiring bikes and stuff. And the thing is, is that fate is a beautiful thing. Because I was working as a motorcycle mechanic, I'm making a lot of money having to take on a job. The place called Finkies, and their jingle was get kinky at Finkies. And basically, I had to throw a guy out, fell down the stairs, ripped my cartilage and ligaments in my legs, and I got operated on. And uh, when I was in the hospital with my friends, I mean, they pillaged my apartment, took all my money, took all my, my tools, which would have valued about $10,000 back in the day. It was a lot less. But I had no money. I was on food stamps. I was going physical therapy. I was just messed up in pain. And somebody came up with the bright idea to go to school. Said they'll give you Pell Grants, all sorts of free money, and they did. Paid for my classes, my books, my housing, everything. I got a full boat from the government. And, uh... Went to Daytona Beach Community College. And that was the beginning of my path to becoming the attorney that rides. And I learned, hey, without a skill, without a trade, without an education, you're really, you're not gonna go anywhere. You know, you keep working that dead end job, you know, but the good thing is you gotta keep striving. Wherever you are, wherever your station in life is, you always have to better yourself. And that's what I did. And even still to today, you know, uh, getting a videographer to edit these videos, it was too much money. Well, I sat down a whole weekend and taught myself through video, through YouTube, uh, reading articles. And then with the experience, now I do my own videos. And I save money and I love doing it, you know? So you should never stay still because they say that Moss does not grow on rolling stones, and you need to be a rolling stone. And this is sort of like an inspirational thing, giving a, you know, what do they call that? Not, not like, like a success story or, you know, a life wisdom story to you guys out there. Just keep, keep uh, doing what you're doing. Keep learning. Don't ever stop learning. Be the best that you can be, and people will hire you. If you have that positive energy, people will hire you and just be curious, has empathy and love toward your individual. And you will see that folks will hire, more people will flock around you and say, hey man, I like hanging around this cat right here. And remember, there's always another badass than you. And there'll always be somebody less of a badass than you. So just go out there, have fun, let people love on you, love on other people. And when life comes to a 360, all that karma the bible says what you reap or what you sow is what you reap karma what goes around comes around so with that i say to you go forward be happy and love on somebody today and be a better person whether it be skill wise or something with you you know just keep perfecting to the day you die man to the day you die if you need an attorney, what do you call it? Just, just call Gabe. There you go. Just call Gabe.com or TurningTheRise.com.